head into Bapoyo, a little beach town our backpacker friends Richie and Steve found. We're excited for some relaxing beach time after running around and climbing all those volcanoes. Richie and Steve! It's <laughs> a rock. Got Emily over here. Down here. Boyo Beach. That is the surf break right here. This guy. But we'll be able to see it from the bar. In this bag. Inner Bay. Surf skill. So Danny, Richie, and Steve are heading to the beach for some surfing and I'm just going to relax here by the pool, get some work done and figure out what we need to get into Costa Rica in about a week or so. The van is parked right under a router so having Wi-Fi here has been super nice. Truck life. <laughs> Okay, so sounds like Danny, Richie, and Steve are back from their beach day. Danny and I are going to show you around Rio Moco Hostel where we're staying right now. And then I think we're going to head to the beach to check out a ramp that Danny wanted to see and to watch another beautiful sunset at Papoyo. So this is Rio Moco Hostel. We're staying here with the van. Gets pretty good shade over here. And there's a pool, hammocks, four private rooms, dormitories. And uh, the good times are this way. Over here is a nice pool area. There's a good chill spot here with a bar. And the beers here. 
can hang out down in this area. And up here, this Palapa is kind of an open area here to uh, do whatever. Hammocks up here too. Kitchen is in there. Outside bathrooms and showers, as well as in the dormitories. These are little tables in the corners. You can sit there and have a beer. I love it here. Such good Wi-Fi and the breeze is amazing. We have just left the doors open in the van so that there's always a breeze going through. And we've been sleeping here every night in the van even though it's 88 degrees during the day. Yeah. It's a really nice climate here near Popoyo Beach, which is not too far from San Juan. Good one tonight, yeah, I think. Because really nice. these clouds up here. Yeah. I love it. The vet thinks that Graham might have scratched himself on his chin because he was eating too much grass and he's allergic to wheat. We got him some antibiotics, which is pretty difficult to give a cat, but Emily knows how. And here, now after giving him the antibiotic, we're gonna rinse his face, or wash the wound again, and put on some cream. And he is running away, of course. He doesn't want to be near us. But he's gonna be okay. Bit of a scary morning. He's gonna be okay. It's pretty cuddly today. So now that we've talked to the vet about it and she says Graham is okay, we're gonna keep cleaning the cut and continue with the antibiotics. After some peaceful nights by the beach, we're gonna head to one of our most anticipated spots. Omatepe Island. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>